Fiona, what can you tell us about this film? I understand it's all been kept under wraps. It is. Um, it's a film noir, that much I can tell you. A two-hander, really, primarily with Ray Winston and Jim Sturgis, who are, I have to say, phenomenal. Um, really phenomenal partnership on screen, actually, and off screen. They're fantastic. Um, and... It's a, it's a story, it's a father and son story and a road movie. And I think many people are quite interested to know how we're making a road movie on the Isle of Man. I'm and how we came to, to be making a road movie on the Isle of Man. Um, it was quite a challenge initially because our script wasn't originally written with the Isle of Man in mind. But we were lucky enough to get financed by Cinema X and Isle of Man, which is wonderful. Wonderful for us and the film. And it's been a great experience actually from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we had to make it work. Where's it doubling up for? Well, it's 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 interesting. It's it's really unlocal. It's unspecified UK. I mean, there's the whole really. There's one place name mentioned in the entire film, and I won't tell you where it is. And it's it's sort of a it's a plot point and a joke. So um, you'll have to wait until you see the final edit. But it's it's unspecified UK. So it's fine to do it here. The only thing is, we didn't realise until we came to visit the island on our first recce that there were no motorways and barely any dual carriageway. Um, so we did a bit of rewriting and a lot of stuff that originally would have been motorways now up in the mountains and those fantastic open roads and the B roads, etc. And it works, it works brilliantly actually. And it's given the film something much more, I think, than if we shot it on the mainland in that it feels very, it feels slightly surreal, it's a little bit heightened and, you know, it's beautiful to see. I mean, as you know, I don't need to tell you, it's a beautiful island, so... It's, lent, it's given something to the film, definitely. And have you found working with the Manx crew and uh, w working with the government people and the, and the Department Fantastic. of Film? Fantastic. I mean, really, really, genuinely great experience. Um, as an island, it's so easy to shoot here. Logistically, it's brilliant. You know, you, you cross the island in sort of half an hour, really, location, location to location. Um, people have been really welcoming. Nobody sort of seems to feel it's inappropriate to be filming the most public of spaces. We were in the airport on Saturday and people just went about their business, completely unbothered by us, totally disinterested, which is brilliant. Um, and yeah, no, it's just been wonderful. It's, you know, the financing process, the shoot thus far, and we hope, you know, the distribution and publicity at the end have all been wonderful. So a double thumbs up, really. And when's it like to be seen on the screen? Well, it will be finished as a complete film by the end of September, 100% delivered, and at that point, then, it's really a matter of the distributors deciding when they think it's best to get it out profile-wise. Obviously, we hope, and having seen the performance of our actors and the material we're getting, that we'll be in that award season run. So that's what we would like, where we'd like to be. So going out either before Christmas or in the spring next year.